What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Sunday. It's the weekend. It's 5 p.m. Pretty traditional time to start Clown Live, if I would ever say so. And uh, I'm your host, Dragon Blake, or you can call me Blake. Join with me this week is my beautiful Mima. wife, Mima. What's up, Beebs? Hey. <laughs> we got Evans in the chat saying, Clown Love, hit that follow button. I think that's Hello. a great idea, Evans. Oh, yeah, when we wave. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know. I forgot you, about yeah, that. You know about the, the hands. spot, right? You know about <laughs> the spot. Yo, we're chilling today. It's Sunday afternoon. I thought we would do a nice sit-down show, which is essentially unprecedented here on Clown Live, but I thought since it's the two of us, instead of bumping into each other, we could uh, just sit a little bit and relax. So that's what's up. We got a great show planned today. We got some new products that we never talked about before. And uh, I encourage you for the audience engagement to take a look through the carousel, see if you notice the new product that we're gonna open today. I handpicked some of my favorite products today and uh, Mima did the same. So we're going to take some turns, I think, talking about some products. We're going to get Mima's feet wet in the Amazon <laughs> live game today, talking about products. Hey, what's up, Rover? How you doing? Thanks Hello. for popping out today. How's been your weekend? What do we do with the weekend? Not too much, eh? No. It's a little bit of tidying, a little bit of waffle eating. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome <laughs> when we ate those waffles. I like that part. Yeah, it was good. And then what? Anything else? We just kind of laid low just, this weekend. Yes. We take it pretty easy, don't we? Yeah, just cleaned the normal. We used to do a lot of really fun stuff, and then things changed for a while, and it was like hard to go out. And well, we can still do the fun stuff. Yeah, now that fun stuff is happening again, I've I've uh, not been prioritizing it, and I don't think that that's a great idea. So I think next week we're gonna spend some cash and get those tickets to go see that show. Mm -hmm. Uh, what show? Kenny versus Benny. Yeah. Where and is it in Windsor or do we have to go to London? No, it's in Windsor. It's in Windsor. That's it's in sweet. London the next day. Oh really? What day is it in Windsor on a Saturday? Um, no, it's on a Friday. It's on a Friday. That's cool. In March. Yeah. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. What was that like the fourteenth or something? The seventeenth. The seventeenth. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, St. Patrick's Day is not a holiday that I ever really like. Yeah. Yeah, it oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. I never really like got it. This is for a bunch of drunks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> relax. <laughs> for people who enjoy libations, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I never really was a big alcohol consumer. I used to drink a lot of alcohol when I was in my twenties, but now I'm not that anymore. And uh, like, I still might have a couple drinks from time to time, yeah, but once like, in a while, I never. It's so unheard of for me to be like. 
hey, you know what we should do? Drink some alcohol tonight and yeah. feel its effects. No. I mean, listen to me it's just describe alcohol. Like, I literally don't even do alcohol. Already, I don't do alcohol. It's already giving me a headache just thinking, thinking about, about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> too much sugar in those sweet drinks and yeah. too much malt in the nut ones. Yeah. Uh, Blake, March 17th, only day of the year. Everyone is Irish. That's true. Even Italians. Italian Irish? Yes. All right. <laughs> what else going on with you? How you feeling? Relaxed? I'm all right. We got Evans chilling with us heading. in the chat, and we got Rover in the chat hanging out with us today chatting, and we've got 11 people in total watching. That's I think funny. I'm one of them over here on the fire stick. Yeah. So, yeah, what do you think? Should we kick it off yeah, and start talking start. about some products? Sure. All right, I'll go first, okay? okay? All right, I'll do that by highlighting the first product in my carousel, and I'll grab it right here right now. <laughs> <clears throat> okay so this is that we'll talk about it oh we fit good here don't we yeah we can see there we go that's not too bad that's good. okay so we're just kind of experimenting with this view i think it looks pretty all right okay so this is the ef ecoflow river 2 portable battery this is a really cool battery uh, because it's so light, you can lift it up with, it, it looks big, but it's ultra, ultra light. Like I, I can lift it with one finger. These have some really great lithium batteries in it that before we get into the technical specs of the battery, um, these have great batteries that last a really long time. With the River 2, you can discharge the batteries to zero and then 100%, uh, 3,000 times before you should start affecting the life expectancy of the battery. So uh, that's 3,000 times. You could use this once a day, every day for 10 years before it would start potentially like giving you an issue. Yeah. yeah. The River 2 features a 256 watt hour battery. Okay. Uh, I plug my laptop into this. The only anecdote that I have for the lap for the, uh, I have two anecdotes for it, but for the laptop, I plugged the laptop into this and it drew the laptop between 80 and 50 watts for about three and a half or four hours. <clears throat> Excuse me before the river died. And then I had to just rely on laptop battery. So that was really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have our Govi lights that you could just barely see behind me. And when I plug 96 RGB IC LEDs into the Too device. RBCs and RGB LED. is the color. <laughs> yeah. IC means integrated circuit. <laughs> And LED is the yeah, type of light. Yeah, but yeah, I plugged the string lights, though, into this. It'll give me 12 hours of juice on the string lights. That's crazy. You can plug this in the wall to charge it. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Thanks for coming out a minute ago. Sorry, my eyes are a little obstructed from chat because I'm showing this. I got my chat over here, and I'm looking at you guys over here. So kind of a little mix-up, but it's all good. I hope that you're doing well. Thanks for popping out and hanging out with us on Sunday. We just started the show and we're talking about the EF EcoFlow River 2. And I was just saying that it has 256 watt hours of power and that like at an 80 watt draw with my laptop, I made it last like three, about three or four. I'm just going to round up and say four hours because uh, it's good. It's good. I'd say four hours with the laptop. Mm -hmm. From a zero dead battery to full charge with the River 2 takes only one hour. So you can plug this into the wall and charge it from zero to 100% in an hour. Um, I think I'll have to cable on the other table here. That's good. I think that's good. <clears throat> yeah, super fast to charge. And that's by plugging it into the wall in your house. It also comes with this auxiliary cable so that you can plug it into your car adapter. I was going to ask you that. Like, I thought that's what that could be for yeah you plug this into your car's auxiliary power unit uh plug in your thing yeah, yeah. cigarette lighter adapter yeah, yes, as yeah. we call it uh you plug this in your cigarette lighter adapter and then you plug it into the back of the river too mm -hmm. and you can charge it from your vehicle while right. you're driving around right, right it'll take about i believe four hours to fully charge right yeah. with a cable like this what else is great about the uh whoops wrong button buttons let's reset let's reset okay sorry about that um yeah so not only can you charge it in your car but also you can 
click through the carousel and get 110 volt solar panels. They're not included with the package today for $289. Uh, I think they're like $300 for the, for the, uh, for the, um, for the solar panels, but they're 110 volts. And on a great day, uh, they will charge this battery uh, in four hours. So this is good for like weekend camping. Like if we're just chilling in the RV, you and me, we got a camper and uh, we never had like portable battery right. power like this. No. We always had like gas generators right. and they're always like clunky and loud yeah. and hard to start right. and they smell and it's like the yeah, dirtiest part almost of chemical. carry. Uh, yeah. It's more, more compact, like small. It's yep. more like it's functional, better. Yeah. And what do we do? We just charge a couple of lights. Yeah. Uh, we power, we, we, what do we want? I mean to say, we, we want a couple of lights sure for nighttime. Yeah. We want a couple of lights right. for nighttime. Yeah. We want to charge our phone throughout the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Better. The River 2 is definitely something that can uh, facilitate that for mm. us. But I'm still still looking for, to the future when we may get a larger battery. I'd like to get one that can run the fridge, the right. little bar fridge yes. that we have. The little bar fridge is just like standard size bar right. fridge. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'd like to run that and keep all of our things cold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure down the road something will come up. Some like solar that. panels and stuff might be really cool if we can figure that out. But for now, this thing, like I said, is so light and it's extremely durable. And I'll just say one more thing about it real quick is all the features on the front. Okay. When we turn it on, I did charge mine. So we're at 100% charge and I got 99 hours of, of power coming out of this now because there's no draw on it. Let's drink some water. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, there's no power going into it and there's no power going out of it. I've got hundred percent charge. So that's what these two numbers indicate here. The top number is power going in and the bottom is power going out. It has one grounded uh, standard plug as well as a non-grounded one, two USB a ports, a USB C port, and then an auxiliary charging port, or as I lovingly call it, the cigarette lighter adapter. <laughs> I don't even smoke. Um, so yeah, this is the EF EcoFlow River 2, and it is available today for $289. Jacob says, is that your wife? Yeah, this is Mima. Hi. Hi, Jacob. Okay, how about I put this back, and then I get a product for you, okay? okay. All right. Thank you. Ooh, no problem. We're going to talk about the mat. Yeah, we're going to talk about the mat. All right. <laughs> It kind of like honestly, it it is clean. Yeah, it's clean. It's, it's just, just got some water, water spots on yeah, it. Yeah, on it, and uh, um, oh yeah, you can really see. I probably should put it through the dishwasher. It is dishwasher and, safe. Oh yeah, it's it's dishwasher safe, and uh, I like it because it's it's big, and I can fit more things on there. You know, for multiple use. <clears> I think it's twenty four by eighteen. And uh, I read the paper. I guess we didn't put the paper out about it today to talk more in depth about it. But just laying it down really quickly, I want to I want to tell people about this too. It's got the ridges on it to help grip the things that you put right. on it. But the center ridges, like everything on the face of the mat, is marginally lower in height than the outer yeah. rim and the outer. It so it doesn't spill water off. Well, of it. yeah, water. like and yeah, I think that's the whole reason why they it's made this way yes. to keep the water in. And uh, I think it's easy to clean. It to, oh, like when you show it up against the light, it's pretty. You can see the water spots everywhere, on it. The whole thing. That's okay. Yeah. That's yeah. well, you know what? It's better. The water spots on the dishwasher safe, reusable. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Hot, hot pop mat, the hot pop silicone mm -hmm. mat. Yeah. Better on here than the countertop. Right. And so it I, certainly and serves I its like, purpose. I like, I like, these better than the cloth <laughs> mats that they have like those fibro mats where it soaks like up holder? like a sponge like it soaks the water in it's like um i don't know i i forget i i know they look like this but this is more convenient yeah and these yeah, are good like for it. high heat as well yes. you can these support like putting heat on them from the stove like up to 480 degrees or so like a hot bait Say like it's french fries like chicken, chicken 
in a hot pot, Soup like in a, a pot. baking sheet. Yeah, yeah, this would be okay. You could put this right on your kitchen table and serve hot stuff on it. Maybe it's not the most aesthetic thing for that, but yeah, it makes a great dish mat, right? It's mm -hmm. good for hot stuff. And uh, I like that it oh has those Lord, raised, raised ridges on it. Oh, it's okay. That's okay. I know. That means it's serving its purpose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Today, today this is available. I guess we should put this between us so that you can say some prices as well, right? Oh, that's okay, Blake. It's easier for no, you No, it's not. No, it's all good. Here we go. Here, do you want to talk about the prices today? I mean, you go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Today, the Hot Pop Silicone Double XL Mat, which is 24 by 18, is available today for $15.99. It is on a 45% off deal, which I think is pretty amazing. This is regularly $29.21, but uh, you can scoop it up today, like I just said, for $16.00. It instantly replaced the thing that we had before. We got like a like a traditional wire rack for dishes, uh, dish tray on the side of the yep. sink. Uh, and then we always had like that also traditional oh, hard Sorry. plastic. We also had that traditional like hard plastic boy that had the low edge. So all the water ran off back into the sink. We got rid of it. Yeah. We got rid of it. Yeah. We replaced the, we replaced it with the. Oh, um, sorry. Oh, okay, it's probably me going like this. Yeah, you're moving your fingers. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Brenda Haynes? Thanks for coming out. Yo, we were just taking Hi. a look at the Hot Pop Double XL silicone mat and uh, and saying that it's on a great deal today. It's forty five percent off, making it sixteen dollars. It's good as a dish rack. It's good for putting hot things on up to four hundred and eighty degrees. Pretty. I think awesome. I think there's a lot of multi purposes with that. It's good to have around your kitchen. Cancel that. Okay, let's move on to our next product here. The outdoor projector. That's right. Okay. Here, do you want to just leave it there? Well, I want you to read some yeah? prices okay. when you talk about right. your products. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, but I also do need some chat, so we'll just move it back. Uh, and forth. Yeah, it's pretty fine. dynamic. Yeah. Uh, we can also loosen this and go like this, but this thing is not very sturdy yeah, on the ground. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, we have a highlighted in our carousel. Yes, we're going to talk now about the Mars Nebula Anchor, uh, excuse me, the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro outdoor projector. I always forget if it's Mars Pro 2 or Mars 2 Pro. Mars 2 Pro. This is the Pro edition of the Mars 2. Okay, this is the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro 720p outdoor projector. This is a really nice projector. It's the whole package. It has a built-in battery that allows you to play uh, up to three hours of playback time. It features uh, a DLP projection. It has a HDMI port on the back as well as a USB port for inputs. It also has a audio out jack and uh ac adapter and all that's included in the box it comes with the remote control which is great for controlling it from further away it also features bluetooth connectivity so you can connect this to a speaker or the um the uh uh the anchor app excuse me is what i wanted to say nebula app i don't know if it's anchor app or nebula app but you can download the app and control the mars to pro even further but it has all the controls that you need built into the top all of your directional buttons and menu selection buttons as well as bluetooth pairing back and volume controls this is really cool what i like the most about this is that it says that it's designed for outdoors so i'm really excited about using it outdoors i've used this inside and it looks really good uh for the projection on the wall <laughs> and we just shone it on a on a white wall like this in the bedroom behind the flag. So, but it made it real bright in there. Oh yeah, that room doesn't have any really like good lighting no. in it at all. The bedroom, so it's always like dark in there. And when we put this on to watch a movie like at night at like, like at one o'clock in the theater. morning, that's how it, it was. Yeah, <laughs> it was really bright. This is really bright. I, what does it say? Uh, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's six hundred lumens. I haven't said that statistic, so I don't recall. But not only can you plug things into the HDMI and the USB with this, 
but you can also download apps and sign into them like YouTube apps and stuff. This has an operating system built into it, Android 7.1. Uh, see, it's like so light. Yeah, it's really light. Lift it a little higher. It's really light. It has a soft grip handle on it. it so like uh, leather, leather. yeah, it's, it's definitely not leather, but right? But it's comfortable and it's like easy to transport. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably a cheaper design choice by Anchor to put the soft one on there than it would be to put like a mold of hard plastic one in. This is my guess. I really don't know anything. I like it because it's small too. Yeah. It's got little rubber booty ring on the bottom to hold it in place okay. on a flat, sturdy surface, as well as a tripod mount. And uh, this is really great. Now, I've got a smaller projector that we're not taking a look at today. And uh, by the two projectors that I have here for direct comparison, um, the Mars Pro, the Mars 2 Pro blows the capsule out of the water. Easy, super easy. Uh, I love this projector. I don't know what I want to project it on. I've got like a smaller screen that came with an older projector that I think it's time to break out of retirement and see how it's going uh, with that old screen. But I was looking at, um, I was looking at, uh, uh, what was I looking at? We were looking at screens. Yeah. yeah, we were looking at outdoor screens. And they make some screens that are like giant and in big, really big and also inflatable. Uh, and then they have ones that are just like traditional tripod with a couple of bars. Uh, to be honest, I like those ones better than the inflatable one. I don't know why. I think it just like it. it, it I know we have a big backyard, but like at the same time, it's so big. It is it's like yeah. bulky. Like well, it's really you know? big and yeah, um, yeah, it is really big in size, and also it is inflatable, so it does shrink down into right. like a pouch. I understand. So when it comes when it comes down to size, I bet that inflatable one is still bigger because yes. I think it comes with like a blower to blow it up, and you can compact the tripods into very small, small and another thing the telescoping with, uh, with poles, the other right? traditional one. Even say if something was to happen, it the only thing that would probably rip on it would be the screen. But the you know like the support of for the screen would be okay in a in a like for weather related. I I'm trying to get at like those inflatable. Yeah, guys. they'd be blowing around like, right you if gotta, you don't stake you them down. Wonder if like something could poke a hole in it or you know what I mean like all of a sudden there's like a tear in it at least with the more traditional one it's just like you know you can really put like a sheet of some sort just to have yeah yeah know? we're gonna have fun with the projector yeah. this year uh in 2023 in the spring and summer for sure uh we just got to figure out what is the best way for mm -hmm. us to do exactly that set up that set up that yeah. screen or any screen yeah. any screen right Okay, I really like this one, and I'm pretty stoked to have it. Like I said, real quick, it is a 720p DLP projector with built-in speakers and a battery that offers three hours of playback time, has multiple inputs, and runs on an operating system Android 7.1, so you can download apps to it. It's the whole package in a little box, and uh, if you don't get one, you're missing out. <laughs> you're missing out on a great home theater experience outdoors. Today, the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro is available for $549, $550, and has a four and a half star rating with just over 1,000 reviews. All right, let's talk about the next product. Oh, this, the Skull Candy Rift Wired Headsets. Those are. That's right. I forgot about the box. I was wondering where it was. I haven't seen it in a we while. We keep the box up here with all the other products. Yeah, I didn't see it. These are probably my favorite so far. I like them because they're soft. And uh, they feel very comfortable. And it's like, almost sometimes I don't feel like I, I feel this on top of my head. Like, it's not like pressing down or anything yeah, i see you wear those i like i them. see you wearing those for a couple hours at a time i like them and i like the way that you can like fold them in and uh you know easy to carry 
And they're good to have if you don't want to hear something or hear people talking. You just put them on and go into your, you know, your tablet and or computer. Hey, Justin's in the chat. What is up? Thanks for joining us today here, Hello. Shopping Dragons. Yeah, we got Mima talking about the Rift wired headphones right now. I'm always um, folding, but yeah, uh, I do like them a lot, and they're very light. They're not heavy, and they don't feel like they're hanging or like something heavy is on my head. They're very comfortable. Yeah, the cups on, on them phone. have are like made out of like a, a foam that is aqua like foam, and then it has like a gray with yeah. white speckled kind of like mesh over it. Can I see it so I can show yeah, closer to the camera? Hold on one sec. I just wanted to say sometimes if I'm wearing them for quite a while, they feel like they're not wet, but maybe it's just like the heat from my ears from them being on there. Do you? Have you ever experienced that with headphones? I often get hot ears like, from headphones. Okay, so maybe that's what I'm... And maybe because of the material of these, it's very soft, so it almost feels like Do you it's move wet, your hair not... out of your out of the way when you wear the headphones, yeah, or do you I'll, put I'll, the headphones no, over your I'll hair? I'll push it out of the way just because it tickles my ear if I'm moving my head or something. But, yeah, I hear... Uh, Je uh, Justin says the hot ears thing is common. I wear headsets yeah. for hours and hours. Big issue. Listen, I totally agree. And I've just got to like quickly, oh, oh, we're going to keep talking. Oh, I'm going to, I want to talk about yeah. these, but well, Justin's here. Okay. I want to show him my EPOS headphones okay. because I don't know. I know James has talked about I got a Christmas cup. It's no longer Christmas <laughs> right now. <laughs> I know James was talking about, uh, the EPOS H6 pro open ear open back i don't know if he had the closed backs or not i think that he did so i don't know if you ever experienced these or not justin what's that i'm just gonna go get some more you're gonna get some stuff yeah okay right uh but i get hot ears too i get hot ears so bad that i don't even like wearing headphones i can sleep in these i can sleep in these i know they're not in the carousel right now i apologize but uh I, this is like a whole bundle that comes in a box with an external sound card but these h6 pros just they don't get my ears hot i can just wear them forever so i don't know if you've ever experienced headphones that you love that don't make your ears hot but uh these are great <clears throat> these are really great now with the headphones mima was talking about the riff wired headphones they do come in a couple of different colorways uh mima's got the aqua or, or turquoise color here Which and i like those colors yeah she likes this I color like the gray and the green the gray and the green, yeah, it's nice. I like the uh, I like the gray and the green as well, but I really like the speckled. Yeah. Uh, I like the speckled mesh over the ear cup. Yeah. We turn these out. We turn these out, and you can see that uh, you can just maybe make out that turquoise. It's really buried under that mesh, but in the right lighting condition, like I can notice it very well. Stands out you good. Haven't, you haven't been. You, I haven't seen you wear them. I know because these? I wear them, but right. I've not seen you wear them. I mean, I can admittedly tell you that I've tried them on a few times on the show and I've used them a couple of times, but definitely these are like what you're using for your tablet. So I kind of just keep my hands off and let you experience them and tell me how it goes. You've been liking them? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I like it a lot. I also like the other one as well, but I, this one's probably my favorite. The Rift Wired Head, the Skull Candy Rift Wired Headset also has the ability to take calls. Now, Mima doesn't really use that feature, but it does have a button here to do that. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a microphone on the other side. Also, also, this connects to your devices with a standard three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack, okay? So that's what you get with the Rift headphones by Skull Candy. Today, you know I keep looking over here by default because that's where my prices always are. Today, the uh, Skull Candy Rift Wired headset has four and a half star review with over 17,000 reviews. Okay, 30 bucks. What were you going to say? I was just going to say, I haven't had the opportunity to uh, um, use the telephone. The call feature. Like the call feature. Hey, you can plug this I right into your phone. Maybe I we should try that out. I Maybe haven't, yeah, office. yeah. I haven't had the opportunity to do that. Um, but they're my my favorite so far, and I really like them a lot, and they're light, and they don't make me feel like I'm wearing something heavy on my head. It's a comfortable feeling, so. Yeah, they're really light being made out of that plastic, so. 
Next is the oh the Fantic cordless screwdriver. Right? That's right. This is the new product. This is the new one. We haven't showed it on the like... show before. <laughs> Yo, this is going to be the Fantic Nex L1 Pro cordless drill, cordless screwdriver. I think it's more like a cordless. I mean, I feel like it's a hybrid between a drill and a screwdriver. And uh, we're going to get into what it looks like right now. And you might be able to. Help you open it? Yeah, sure. You might be able to understand why. The Fantic Nex L1, Fantic Nex L1 Pro cordless screwdriver it looks like a hand drill. And uh, it features different torque settings <laughs> that you can set. So they don't oh, like uh, <laughs> how to use them. I believe you've been expecting me. Look at this fun box here. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> it says, I believe you've been expecting me, uh, how to use me. And then, uh, so yeah, how to use me actually is the torque settings. So um, I don't know what the measurement is for torque setting. When you set the torque, what do you say? What do you say? Is it like supposed to be something fun? No, the word, no, the word. Oh, like oh. when you're, like if you're driving and right. we're traveling in Canada, we talk, we move in kilometers. Yeah, yes. What is the measurement that you say when you're talking about torque settings? I'm not sure. Yeah, well, it ranges from half to six. It ranges from half to six. Um, okay, so let's open the box though and see. And that's cool about different torque settings, even though I don't know the oh, cool, it comes with a cool fridge magnet. Oh, nice, that's cool. Oh, yeah. oh, I've never got a product cool. that comes with a magnet yet, You're, comes gonna, with probably we, a multi language instruction manual. There's no way. Are we this putting it on the fridge? Uh, yeah, for sure, we can do that. I'll do it on the okay, cool. And then here's the product itself. Here, let's make this one bigger. Mm -hmm. So then I always know where I'm looking. Uh, I've never got to see the 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 um where it sits in the case. Are we we're opening it for the first time. Yeah, on the I show? know. I, I uh, obviously. <laughs> I'm real excited to see what it looks like, like on the inside. Everything, as well. the packaging is cool, and so is the casing. I like that when it opens. I like when you open it. It says, "Oh, you've been expecting." <laughs> yeah. Like, so every whoa. time you need to use it, you're gonna be like, "Oh, yes." I'm just going to mute my microphone for one second. Okay, we're back. Hey, what's up, Big Will? How you doing? Thanks for joining us here Hi, on Clown Live today. Oh, Stargazer, what's up? Two M's in Mima. M -I -M -M. Oh, that's okay. Everybody it's spells everybody my does. name everybody however does. it is. It's fine. Okay, so this is the box that the uh, Fantic Next l1 pro comes in looks kind of like Stargazer. very rounded big round edges i like that big round edge design it's a little less like um it, it feels like before i open and look at the thing the case just feels like with its big rounded edges like uh less um like less aggressive yeah it's you know more what I mean? like like uh, not like compact. a power tool it right. doesn't feel like a sharp corner like you can take but, it with yeah. you in your vehicle and yeah. you know okay just... let's open yeah i agree um, anywhere okay. really okay so how do we open oh, this oh go. it's already open. Oh, okay cool that. so here's the drill here's Dude. the drill it comes with a usb-c cord to charge it as well Two as bits. several bits pretty simple and then here's the drill it almost squeezed it oh, out of the like bag. The, yeah like, this is cool looking. yeah look at it, it says like fantic on it very simple rounded design you know what i have a pan where the handle constantly moves. Maybe we could test. You wanna that try out. it right now? You uh, got some battery on this thing. Uh I think it's clean. Let me go get it. <clears throat> okay, so like I was saying, um, it seems like it's a pretty straightforward two-button operation. I believe that we're probably on torque setting six right now. So we can press the button to I pressed it once, the top button near my finger. Yes. Your pan's a little loose. Uh, so now we're on torque setting number one. So we can cycle through the torque settings one to six pretty easy. I assume that the dots on the bottom are battery. And then we have the ability to drill in or out, forward and reverse. And we can toggle that. And we can see that when we press the button, the direction shows on the digital display of the Fantic Next L1 Pro. This is really cool. Now, this might be an issue to find the this is a oh, let's see can i see the because pan? it looks like it's kind of been like you know grinded over time well, rounded out almost almost there's still the four little slots so you think this needs to be just tighter yeah it just needs to be tighter it constantly gets loose on me okay you want to hold the pan sure again? uh probably <laughs> maybe this big is boy it, let's see if it's this what big, is big this, boy like the star 
Yeah. Because there's a small one. Can we see one. this again? Yeah. Thanks. Oops, I think that's a big one. Yeah. There. Do you need the smaller one? Maybe one size smaller. We'll Maybe try them on until we find oh, one. Oh, even the inside of this is very soft. <laughs> I think this is the one. Okay. Okay, you want to hold the pan sure. again? Okay, let's see what we can do here with the pan. We want to go in. So we so just put our simple, bit in. Just put the bit in. I guess so. It's magnetized. Oh, cool. And it's got the light too to show like to, in the tight spot where you Oh, cool. See. Okay, look. So, so it has like this chuck. It's got this chuck. And then when we put the bit in, we put the bit in partially. It It's pulled in by the magnet when we put it in without force. But then when we push it in, the the chuck recedes. Did you see that? Look at this. Let so see. see how you how it's yeah, flush? Right. And then when we put the screw in, the yeah. bit in and push it in, oh, it comes the chuck out. recedes. Oh, I see. Now the bit is going to be locked into place. Right. And it won't come out until we lift the chuck. Yes. And you can see that when we lift it, oh, that's cool. it pops it out too. Oh. Yeah, that actually is really cool. All right, let's test it. Okay, Let's let's put it on like uh, torque. Let's see what the box says about torque stuff real quick. Mm -hmm. See if it's got an actual frying pan on it. Okay, setting one for drones, setting two for robots, setting three for chairs and skateboards, setting four for building furniture, setting five for building like bikes and stuff. Uh, let's put it on setting, I don't know, three Let me see. for skateboards and stuff. Well, I mean, I guess it's considered like uh, it would be something minor, small, you know. It's just right. tightening. A, Let's a see handle. if we can make this thing tight here. So I kind of like can't get it in. So let me use okay. the extension and see okay. if we can figure that out real quick. Maybe it's this one right here. Oh, okay, I got let me it. use my hands a little right. better. Oh, I see it. It should just like. Did you got it? I thought I got it. You don't got it. I got no nails. <laughs> oh, I see. We want this one anyway. Which one? The bigger one? Yeah. Just it should just it? come up. I thought that that's how they come up. Am I doing something wrong? Like maybe you got to slide it I don't know if I had out. to twist it out or something. Maybe you got to slide it out. Um, I'm not sure what I did to get okay. it out if it was slided, but it was it definitely wasn't forcing because I was definitely trying to pry yeah, it up. I Look, I can it. still see my fingers indented from prying <laughs> up so much. Okay, let's pop this. Um, to pop it, we just pull it up and then put our bit in and then put the bit in the extension. See if this does anything. Do you want me to hold it? I don't I don't think so. I feel like it's a lot of torque. Let me burn, turn the torque down. We'll put it on yeah. two. Oh, maybe it feels like it's tightening, Blake. Okay. Let me see. Because, you know, every time I, is it, I hand is it tight? Yeah, it feels like it. It's good? Yeah. We did it. We oh, did it. Hey! We saved it's the day. Pan. It's an old pan. We saved the day with the job. Fantic Nex L1 Pro. <laughs> what a great unboxing we did. This is a really cool, cool little screwdriver drill. It offers a few bits and a few extensions. I really like the unique chuck design. To remove it, we just have to pull up, and it pops it out. Did you see how it popped out? See how it sits flush? And then we, and then, uh, and now the collar is exposed. We we'll pull it up. And the bit pops out easy, easy to pull out. I really like that design. I've never seen anything like that on a drill. Uh, I love that it has the digital display on it. Yeah. I like that it has six like different torque settings. And I watched a video about this. And the torque settings are crazy. Like the sixth setting will drive screws into two by fours uh, pretty well, pretty well. So, um yeah, that's... I had to use pliers to get a bit out of the container today, says Stargazer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Stargazer says, I love your curls, she says. Oh, thank ago. you. Thank you. It's natural. All natural. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, here, do you want to put these bits back? Sure. You want to do this whole thing? Okay, I'll put this here for now. The Fantic Next L1 Pro is available today for $70. That's pretty cool. It instantly fixed the pan. It was instantly understandable out of the box how to utilize it. It's sorry, it does vary speed. Is this so, this way? 
Uh, yes. It, it does vary speed, so you can hold it a little bit, oh, or you can hold it a lot. So that's really cool. I wish I had this when I put this desk together because I did every screw by hand. Oh, look at that. It also has the light on the front of it. Yo, the Fantic Next L1 Pro is the whole kit and the caboodle. You know what I'm saying? And you can get yours today for $69.97. This is regularly $80. Bucks. It's on deal today, 13% off. and has a four-and-a-half star rating with Does over almost 400 reviews. Does that come off? No. Oh, that's why I was trying, wondering why it wasn't. Oh, I see. Okay. I You have to slide it in. I think so. I, I yes. think so. It, you did it the right way. Um, and then also there doesn't seem to be like a power button on this. I think it's just good to go. And like I said, uh, the uh, the uh, charger is USB-C and there is a cable included in the box. Okay. Awesome. You like that? Yeah, I do. That's I cool, really right? I like it. Very that doesn't go in the box. It I goes know on that. Top. I understand. Uh, okay, so what? It, um, let's drink some water and then let's talk about the Yaki laser hair removal tool. Oh, excuse me. Something that I definitely have to try. I have not taken the time yet to to try Do it. it. Yeah, I, we've I, had it for a couple months, and yeah, definitely. Just, like, in the beginning, I was like, "Hey, why don't you wait time. for me, and we'll make a video, well, like a time length that. video about it." But then I kind of like got demotivated to do it, and so we didn't do it. But I want, I do encourage you to use it when you're ready to. And, well, and see. I want to. I just, you know, it's just. I say it on the show when I'm you're all, not here. I'm all being the time. lazy to yeah. to do it, but, but uh, it's definitely. Uh, now, but you've got, you know, you don't mind me saying yeah. a little bit of hair on your chin yes, that I you do. want to treat with the yeah. Oculus hair removal tool. Yeah, I like it because it's very light and. Uh, yeah, it's not it's battery not, operated. It's not heavy at all. Hold it up a little bit. No, oh, sorry. It's not heavy at all. It's very light. I would be using it for my face. Um, I don't really care about like arms and I got hairy arms naturally. <laughs> but like uh, more for my face, uh, I would definitely like use it. I just haven't done it yet. But I will. I will get to it. Um, you got to wear sunglasses. It does come with. It does they come do. with protective glasses I in the think box. It's in the box here somewhere. It's in the little box. Yeah. Okay. It also oh, comes right with a power adapter and a razor blade, so that yeah. you can shave the part of your body that you want to begin treating. Yeah. How does the laser work, little beebs? <laughs> Um, so the Yaki, Yaki, Yaki hair removal device is designed to help break the cycle of hair growth. Uh, light energy is transferred through the skin surface and is absorbed by melanin present in the hair shaft. The absorbed light energy is converted to heat energy, which, which, <laughs> which, <laughs> hey, what's up, Samantha Guevara? Uh, disables the hair follicle. Treated hairs naturally fall out over the course of a few days, one to two weeks. Continue use can prevent hair growth in long term. See, I I used to go uh, and get my hair removal done with a laser. Yeah, Did I it would hurt go. You? No, it was a very comfortable. Uh, like hair removal experience. Yeah. I was trying to think of the word um, where I went, they used a tool that shot out uh, cool air at the same time as heating the uh, like around where I have my hair, facial hair. Um, the only time it kind of like where it was very sensitive was in here because uh, certain areas, it wasn't like sporadic, one hair here, one hair here. I have a bunch a right here. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a little bit more sensitive, which I believe even when I use this, it's going to do the same thing because of, of how many I have. I have over 100 hairs. I know, <laughs> I know because I used to sit in the washroom and pluck 
every single one Blake will know walk in there and I would stop doing it so he wouldn't see me do it. Still saw all the pepper on the sink <laughs> what did though. You, what did you say saw uh, the that cartoon pepper. where the hairs come out and it makes that, that noise? twitching noise? <laughs> <laughs> like a bing. Uh, well, yeah, even though you did the professional I one, I used to pay to get it done. And honestly, like I, 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 it was worth it. I don't care, but if I can save the money, and how much did myself, you pay to do that? Well, uh, this is going back like, uh, a while ago. like maybe seven years ago, I paid under a hundred bucks. So it was, uh, the first time was the times are you know, so different. Yeah, now, it was a lot they? cheaper than, yeah. than what it would be now. But I think that this is. If you use it the way you're supposed to all the time of how it says, I believe that the the hair follicle will not grow back as much and it'll be less maintenance for me. Okay. That's all. Now, I don't know anything at all about laser hair removal in a beauty salon or anything like that. So I don't know anything about the power of lasers either, but I believe that this would be a relatively if not completely pain-free option for you. Uh, that is as it's advertised the to only, be a pain-free option. The Yaki yeah. laser hair removal tools. It was also pain-free where I was getting it done. Um, uh, from what I understand, what the, the person who did my hair removal explained to me what it does is it doesn't stop the hair growth. It stunts the hair follicle. And it right. stunts it from growing back like a normal like how it, you know hair grows right and over time it does eventually like it takes longer for it to come so the more you treat it the more longer it takes for the hair root to you know so i i, I will i will use this and do like a follow-up and i just i just need to make the time to do it i'm lazy <laughs> Uh, the Yaki I laser... want to do it, and I keep talking about it, so I know do. I will do we it. Do. The um, laser hair removal tool here is available today for eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So that's ninety bucks. It's forty percent off. So heads up on that great deal. Okay, one hundred and fifty dollars regularly for this tool. Today it's available for ninety. That's save sixty bucks. Save sixty bucks. Um, also, now remember this: the Yaki laser hair removal tool isn't designed for all skin types. No. or all hair color types. If you right. have dark skin with more melanin in it, then the tool may not be right for you. And it doesn't work well on blonde hair or redheads. redheads. That's yes. right. Um, you can learn more about that by clicking through the carousel today. And another thing I remember, I had an, uh, an experience where it actually was a little bit painful. Uh, I shaved the day of my appointment, I did it that day. So when I went to like go get my hair removal, I, it was like so painful because I had just, my skin was sensitive, right? So I should have done it the night before where this- Buy Stargazer, so have a good meal. Yeah. Sorry for cutting Oh, out. that's okay. Um, but yeah, if you're going to do it, definitely like do the shaving the night before. So then at least your skin isn't like, you know, your pores aren't open and, you know, that's something to. Again, though, yeah. the, the this device is advertised young as being pain free. You can be young and beautiful. <laughs> with I'm, I'm still young. <laughs> I'm going to be young soon, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, me too. <laughs> Are you gonna, do you want to grab the next uh, product sure. for me? Yeah. I just need that little sport. Yeah. The spork. Hey, what's up, the Jennifer spork. Lude? Three minutes ago. Sorry, I forgot to say hi to you. Well, we were talking about the laser hair removal tool. I hope that you're doing well. A little oh, surprise Jennifer stream Lude. today. Uh, surprised to see you here. Actually, I'm not surprised to see you here. We're always hanging out on Amazon Live, aren't we? Uh, so welcome, Jennifer. If you're still here hanging out with us, happy Sunday. I hope you have, are having a great weekend. Now, the next thing we're going to get into here, I'm trying to open it and I'm having sure, serious issues, thanks, is going to be the, I don't know how you say this, I think it's skook. I think you say, look at it. How do you say this word? What are we looking at right now? Skook. Silent Spork. P. Silent Spork. P. I, th I don't think it's squirk because there's no there's R no in R. it. Right. So it's skook. So Silent like, P. Like a, Not P-skook? Yeah. 
Well, yeah, it's like Philip, like Philip, Philip, Pil Pilp, Pilp. Pilp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, give me this. Thank you for opening the bag for me. You want to take the little carabiner oh, yeah. out too? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say Skook because it's two yeah. O's, ooh, right. and then a silent P. I'm gonna say this is the Skook five in one utility spork, uh, utility. I don't know, kitchen utensil, whatever they call it. Um, I love this thing. Look at this thing. It's made out of stainless steel. It has really cool uh, fork end on it. I've already put it in the dishwasher. As well fine. as a serrated edge. <laughs> It's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's five in one. So one is the like fork. That. Two is the serrated edge knife. Three is the can opener. Four is going to be your bottle opener. And five is going to be the spoon. And at no additional cost, they drilled an extra hole in it so that you can put an included carabiner on it. Maybe this isn't a carabiner, but you can put the hook on it and hang it on the outside of your bag. Uh, this is cool. The only thing that I didn't particularly like about this immediately out of the bag is that this is a stamp. Like they stamp this, you know, into 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 uh, mm -hmm. into uh, shape. And so I do have some little burrs on the end of my fork, but I do recognize that they're there. So I am really easy when eating with it. But uh, yeah, I've used it for actual dinners. Yeah, you could cut with it like small, like maybe not a full out, like maybe something like. I don't think you're like, eating. Like, I don't think you're like. Well, slicing a steak that, you can maybe like yeah, gnaw maybe, your way through yeah, it but like like a, a, a meat that is soft you know what i mean like maybe like a meatball or like something that is not tough to cut through i like this thing a lot me too it's I'm got the branding saying, I'm on it take it for to work for lunch that's yeah, a smart my... move it's <laughs> a smart move uh, the Skook is available today for seven dollars and has four and a half star review with over 1300 reviews look at us <laughs> Uh, did the show freeze? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it was just go. funny the okay. way we were both like, I was like this and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. I oh, see this one's freezing again. Let's refresh our page here. Make sure that we're doing everything the right way. Looks good on the fire stick. So I feel that we're having a really good stream. I just see that it's lagging a little bit here on my, uh, on my laptop. Yeah. So what do we do to prevent that? What do we do to prevent that? Do we leave this out of full screen mode? We'll just try it like that for a minute. Okay, sorry about that little technical snafu, but here we are back with the Skook. It is that five-in-one uh, stainless steel utensil. It's dishwasher safe. It's really durable because it is stainless steel. I spent like 45 minutes a few weeks ago looking at sporks and, and tactile camping utensils like Skooks. this. Skooks. Skooks. Skook. Skook, skook. Not sporks. There's no R. Uh, uh, <laughs> commonly referred to as a spork, this skook branded utility uh, utensil, I guess, yeah. um, is like one, not the only one, but it's the only one that I saw that had this design mm -hmm. um, and was made out of stainless. Everything else was made out of plastic. Everything else that was like this was made out of plastic. There were other metal options, but they weren't exactly like this. So what is this part right here? Like to open. That's like, for the can opener. Oh, can opener. That's the okay, can opener. I thought so. Then all right. And then the other ones for your bottles. Right, right. To open them up. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm pretty confident. I haven't looked in a couple of weeks, but I'm pretty confident that when you click through the carousel and put this seven dollar skook uh, utensil in your cart. Uh, if this isn't what you're looking for, but you do want this, they make them in black. <laughs> but the last time I went through the store, they didn't have single blacks uh, available, but they did have for like $13, you could buy a two pack that was a silver, like a stainless and a black. I, I believe that's prefer, accurate. Let me I click. I would prefer a stainless over black. Let's or click through the carousel real quick and see plated. what we can learn. So they sell, I don't know. Oh, they do have black back in stock for $7. They got the stainless for seven dollars, and then you can get a black oh, and a stainless like the with the cinch bag for cool. just under thirteen dollars. Yeah, I like so, the stainless still better. Stainless is nicer than the yeah. black. I think the black will probably just get scratched. Yeah, up and, then, it was, and then over time, like it's yeah. gonna look like who's like a gonna want to use that old ragged scook. <laughs> old ragged scook. <laughs> Your scook <laughs> is all ragged, bro. What's up? Uh, Bubble Ghost says um, stainless steel or gold plated, which is better, or silver plated stainless steel. What about just plain silver? Uh, I think just plain silver would probably be too yeah. soft. 
And I think a silver plating would just like a black coated plating would eventually wear. Uh, and gold plated sounds really like luxurious, but just for the simple stamped stainless steel and your and, oh, yeah. and versatile uh, versatility of this seems really great. I, when, uh, you know why it's called silver spoon? It's because ions from silver actually protect the immune system. That's that's interesting. I uh, I was not aware of that. I yeah, was not aware of that. Me neither, but that makes sense. Really, it makes sense it, that it would do that. It makes sense that silver would what? Protect our protect immune, your immune system. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about plated things, but well, I would maybe. say that my vote goes exclusively for the non black, straight up, stamped out, stainless steel, no frills. I scoop. like it. I Seven dollars like for this today. I want to get the one with the bag in it so I can take the bag out, out of my sack. lunch bag at work and be like, look, everybody. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Bubble, Bubble Go says, uh, Bubble Go says, I only tell secrets of the elite sometimes. <laughs> you just got one. All right. Well, here's my nice. secret Thanks. to you. Here's my Thank secret you. to you. This is a great device. This is a great little stainless steel yeah, utensil. It's definitely um, cool. It says, Skook, find us. That's what they have engraved on it. So okay. I don't know. Yeah. We we got we found it. We found it. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Do you want me to get the next one here? Sure. Okay. Next one's gonna be for you. Okay. Okay. Did we put the Ofuzi out? Oh no, we did Fantic. Oh my gosh. What do we got in the carousel? Carousel is Ofuzi and we got Fantic. Okay, let's get the Ofuzi. Hold on a second. I thought you said it was the Well, Fantic. yeah, I guess I didn't do the right Okay, uh, that's fine. Right this, that, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's this fine. is what we're talking about right here. Do you okay. want to talk about this? Sure. I'm gonna go move the Fantic stuff. Okay. I'm gonna open up this bag here i kind of what do you got there i tied it yesterday because i was using using this yesterday and what is I, it? the ofuzi vacuum oh i don't want it to yeah work. this is the ofuzi h a little dirty it's a vacuum yeah i know i i sorry sorry about the so sorry about the dirt inside of the canister part i don't have gold <laughs> in stainless is just degrading metal and don't have gold in your food not good what about those Salt Bay 24K steaks? Oops. Yes, Mima's going to talk right now to you about her experiences with this product. This is the Ofuzi H8 Apex Cordless Vacuum, handheld vacuum. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like it. <laughs> I like it because it's light and it's uh, very easy to, to vacuum small surfaces or even a large surface. Uh, it's good to, um, I cleaned our fan that we use in the bedroom. The bedroom fan was looking like it, it needed was, a little bit of cleaning. It was gross. But yes, it like, was. It, wait, it wasn't gross, gross, but it was like, I cleaned it before. It was just starting to get like build it up. building up. So it was time to do it. Um, I truthfully, I, I think use, they have that plugged in the right way. Oh, no, I don't. Sorry. That's why I was wondering why I didn't. Truthfully, I use the Fantic vacuum yesterday because to clean, the fan. to clean the fan the only difference with that vacuum and this one is it had a long nozzle a different attachment, attachment yeah everything else was the same uh let me get a drink while um I'm about this. i like the little brush up top here because it really does when it's and the suction is strong so when you're like when I was trying to clean the fan um, guards, all the all the all the uh, like the dust bunnies were like hard on the grill, so the brush part was loosening them and then sticking to the brush. Well, so good. then I would just take the you know clean out the brush and suck it in here, and as you can see, like there's dirt, but this is from a different a different dirt. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very portable and I like it. I like it a lot. It's easy to clean. And then you got your other attachments like for surfaces that you don't want to scratch. If you can find pure like silver cookware, you'll be healthy. I'll look into carpet, silver sporks. You know, somewhere soft even here. Like it's got the soft... Um, yeah, I think that's there so that you don't scratch your hard yeah, surface, right? With like if plastic. you were just like slowly going over, you know, somewhere soft uh, where you don't want to scratch it. Attachment closer but, to the camera. Um, yeah, as you can see, 
This is this is our real time view. Yeah. This is the show. Yeah. So you can see like how soft it wouldn't scratch like here, but right. um I, I, I like it. I like these little vacuums. You get a lot of good little practical applications. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about too yesterday, uh I could have both and like honestly <laughs> We need to clean the truck really bad. So these are going to be like, I, I, they, if you use them for say more than a half an hour, maybe yeah, more, like, like the light will go yellow. And that's on efficiency like orange, mode, right? Yeah. That's on normal mode. So like they're not eco good. Eco mode. Yeah. Yeah. Eco mode. Cause there's full power right. mode as well. I just feel like these are not meant to like use for a long time, like to vacuum. It's good to, pick up like our vacuum that we have now I we use a filter queen it's an old one and if for some reason it just rolls all the hair into balls which I guess is fine because now I can suck them up with this thing um, I got an old dirt devil I don't think it's a bad vacuum it does but the my same belt thing. broke it does the same thing it rolls up the balls of hair and so you gotta like you know either pick them with your hand off the carpet but this is convenient for like, you know, short period, like, okay, I'm just going to clean this quick here. Uh, you know, just kind of tidy up type area. I think this is good. I like them. Yeah. The Ofuzi H8 Apex handheld cordless vacuum charges via USB-C on the back side. It comes with several attachments and has a 120 milliliter dust bin and a removable filter that is cleanable. Uh, and it's really easy to open and dump the yeah. dirt out of the I'll top. I'll just open it, but I'm not going to dump it. You yeah, you just pull the pull little the latch. And then, um, oh, it's locked. Nope. Oh. You got to press the button. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. So you just there pull you the go. latch down and then open the button and you can dump your dirt yeah. out super easy. And then if you wanted to clean the filter, you can take this part off. There's like the lock. Close the lid and then yeah. demo that part. I know. There is like the lock and the unlock. There you go. And then you pull it from here. It's got the little handle and you pull it out and then you can clean it. And it comes with the brush, right? This one has the little brush. Yeah, it comes with, yeah, it certainly does. Yeah. And so then, can I see this for a second? Yeah. You got it? This is the whole thing. This is the yeah. whole Ofuzi. It's like, honestly, one. this it's, part it's is. Not even, it's not even as big as two, it's yeah. basically two fists. That's more heavy than this part. Of course. Yeah. This has the battery yeah, in it I understand. and the motor. But it's overall not a heavy handle it does have the eco mode it does have the full power mode that's blowing a lot of air yeah and like i can use it as a blow dryer seriously <laughs> i don't <laughs> but no you could use it as a blow dryer i wouldn't necessarily no, no, recommend I wouldn't, but like jokingly yeah uh <laughs> yeah so the ofuzi h8 apex how much do you buy this for today uh today it is 79.99 yep. regular a hundred dollars 99 0.99. That's right. That's 20 right. 20% off is 79. 20% off $100 yeah. making it 80 bucks today. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Yeah, worth the 80 bucks to get, have for sure. I like that it has a easy to dump bin yeah. and that you can pull the filter and clean it right. so that you're not constantly like dirtying your filter and then having to replace it. You can clean it. You I can can't wait. It. I can't wait from when we go camping. I'm going to bring all these little things. Yeah, we're going to test them. Yeah, even yeah you know what I mean? Like, it's it's nice to have, like, uh, these little portable uh, vacuums. Um, I, I definitely like that. I was going to put this in first because it might not all fit in there with all the, like, that's what I mean. Oh, so you recommend putting the Ofuzi yeah. into the bag first and before putting, putting the other the stuff attachments in? And that's what I think it fits better that way. Okay, let's talk about my next product while you put this yeah. one away. Is that all right? Yeah, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I tripped. Oh, be I careful. Fell forward on the table. Oh, be careful. Now. Thanks. <laughs> Let's move this old foozy box. Yeah. Oops, sorry. That's okay. I'll take this. It's so Canadian, eh? Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry, Bob. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, we're working can together, I, Bob. Can I, can I tell you a quick story? Yeah, of course. It's yeah, about, we got nothing but time. It's about sorry. Now it can't see. Okay, so uh, a few years back, maybe before, yeah, it was before COVID, Blake and I went 
to America to uh, an event. And Did I uh, bump into you or something? <laughs> Did I bump into you? I don't know. <laughs> Please continue. Anyway, so uh, I think I was going to go put something back in my car. We had purchased some merch and we went and Blake was still inside. And there was this um, man opening the door or walking in behind me or something like that. And I, and I, something happened for me to be like, Oh, I'm sorry. Like that. <laughs> he looks at me and he goes, you must be from Canada. I said, yeah. How do you know? <laughs> he goes, because all you guys say is I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was in the American accent that, you know, like a Michigan accent. Yeah, so funny. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very cute story, little blue. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting listening to people speak English with a different accent that is not yours, and then you're like, it's literally English. How come I don't understand what's going on right now? Right, but it makes me feel way, like I got a bit closer he attention. Said, Sorry, was in a Canadian way. You know what I mean? Like the no, Canadian, like I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, eh? <laughs> okay. Great little. Great little <laughs> Canadian anecdote. I like that. Okay, let's keep it going here. We're going to talk next about the Soundcore Rave Neo 2. That is this bad boy right here. This is an 80-watt Bluetooth speaker that is IPX7 weather-resistant and buoyant. It has a powered driver and two powered tweeters. Uh, this thing is really loud, and it has a really, really nice light show. Let's move the box out of the way because it's a little bit cumbersome for the for talking about it. And we'll just put the Rave Neo 2 back in its place there. That looks a lot better. When we press the power button on the Rave Neo 2, it turns on. It might stay blue in color. Maybe we can pair it to this. I like it. I like cool. it too. I like it a lot. I could totally see me when it's I go paired to the to beach something. with my mom. I'll be taking this with me. <laughs> yeah, you think that you might not take the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus because it's one. late because it's lighter and yeah, it has the strap. Yeah, it would be smaller, but I mean, this is good for anywhere. That oh yeah, go. this has a nice soft kind of like plastic, nice like really really dense foam, not leather feeling. Do you think that this is a, a leather? I don't think it is. It's definitely not leather, but it's like a, a of a soft plastic of maybe rubber up top a, a rubber type of material but like i have no that, idea what this thing is connected to you know you you know what i'm saying like this is like a rubber hard it's like a hard rubber some type of yeah it's definitely hey rave neo 2 connected sweet okay know. let's Not do plastic, this but it's very yeah, again comfortable to hold that's not what i wanted uh, yeah, it's IPX7 weather resistant. It's super loud. It has this really great light show that we can see showing now. I'm just trying to find this search term and play our intro music to the show here. Really. This thing is loud. This thing is loud. I've got it turned up at about half volume on my cell phone right now. And uh, you can feel the air coming out of the back being oh, yeah. displaced. Yeah, this. Like, yeah, and this is. A, we're gonna turn up real loud and real close to the microphone. It's really, really loud. Really loud. It's pretty loud. Yeah, for 80 watts, it's really loud. It has a really rich bass. Let's turn this down in case it can't hear us. It has a really rich bass sound, and then. And then uh, it has a toggleable uh, a light show that you can toggle. It is having up to, I believe, 20 hours of playback. It features PartyCast 2.0, which means you can pair this with other compatible speakers. And then uh, like other PartyCast 2.0 compatible speakers, such as the Motion Boom Plus, for example, or another, another uh, Rave Neo 2 party a, a rave party to whatever whatever is compatible with that party cast 2.0 um environment you can pair with it up to 100 speakers total that's crazy what else am i forgetting Dude, nothing really nothing really light shows bluetooth connection ipx7 weather resistant has this big rubber grommet on the back that when we open it it's gonna see that we have 
USB-C charging in, as well as uh, USB-A charging out, and a three and a half millimeter headphone uh, jack for line in. So even if you don't have a Bluetooth uh, uh, device to connect to this, you can still add music to it with a simple three and a half millimeter headphone auxiliary port. Like I said, located on the back. I do like that they made like the um, uh, the base port like blue. It just gives it like a nice kind yeah, of like little accent. Until you said that. <clears throat> yeah, it so, matches the oh, bottom of the handle. Yeah, matches yeah. the bottom of the soft grip oh, handle. I didn't know that underneath was blue too. That's yeah. crazy. I thought it was black like up here. No, ma'am. Oh, the no, sound you core. it out. I see it. The Soundcore Rave Neo 2, while being uh, a moderately weighted Bluetooth speaker, is also advertised as being buoyant. So I that's mean, great. it is a little bit heavy. A little bit heavy. But like, it's good. Like you know. If you're walking a short distance, say, like, from your vehicle to, say, you're going to uh, a party and you're bringing the speaker, that would be, you know. Yeah, this is perfect. great for parties. Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. great for chilling at home. It's good for Everything. bringing into the uh, bathroom for a shower because of its IPX7 yeah. weather resistance. And it's got a nice, uh, like, rubber-coated top so that... You don't have to uh, worry about those water splashes. Now, nice. we can see that mine is dying. Pretty clear to tell that power flashing is off as well as the battery light. Cool. Uh, these are great. They have toggleable base. You can toggle the base. Uh, and you can download the Soundcore app and adjust the sound with the built-in equalizer with that app. There's also a few different preset settings for the equalizer that you can check, uh, that cool. you can listen to as well. The Soundcore Rave Neo 2 is available today for $180. This is essentially the exact same price as the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Uh, both of those radios are 80 watts. So really, I don't know. I don't know. I think this is a little bit louder because of the powered drive the, the, the excuse me the driver's a little bigger so yeah. it pushes a little more air so right. it has a little bit deeper bass uh than the passive bass radiating speakers on the ultra light yeah. and extremely portable right. uh right. sound car motion boom plus right. so there's advantages and disadvantages to each yeah uh like i said one more time we're going to move on to our next product here which is the spatula set the okay. spatula set uh, one more time, Wilmina's well, coming up here with the oh next God, product. Where is it? I'm looking for the Soundcore Rave Neo 2 is available today for $179.99. Oh, yeah. And it looks like this. <laughs> yeah. And like a cartoon. Can you go down the back? Yeah. I'll put this on the table. Do you want me to shut this? Oh, it don't matter. We can leave the lights on in yeah, the back. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, what a really good show we're having today. Bubble Go kind of taking the conversation in the chat to places that I'm not really acknowledging today. It's a lot, and it's kind of like off the topic of like great products and stuff. So just kind of focused uh, on more easy, sensitive topics today. And uh, I do appreciate you coming out and hanging out with us, Bubble Go. But, uh, you know, we're talking about silicon spatulas. You know what I'm saying right now? <laughs> so let's highlight that in our carousel. And, uh, yeah, go ahead. Say whatever you want about these Hot Target 13 silicone spatula set. I got to – I've started using most of it. Um, I definitely want to do this mashed potato. That ain't a mashed potato spatula. Don't even make I, sense. Anyways, we'll see. Um, I like them because they're, well, the handle is rubber and if I was to leave it on, like sometimes I'll lay it. It is a silicone coated. It, it's, it's not rubber coated. Oh, sorry. Okay. Silicone. It felt like rubber, but, um, I feel like if like on a hot surface somewhere, if I had left it on like say a frying pan, just like this, cause sometimes I do that, uh, that. It wouldn't burn my hand because you know it's only heated here but i try not to do that um i i, I like it too because you can hang them so i was saying to blake that maybe we should look into getting something where we can hang these on the wall we have some space that we could do that you know uh for all different you know you got your pasta scooper 
if you want to take some vegetables and strain out, you know, you got your, I don't think this is good for eggs. I tried. It's a little bit thick. This is more like. for like, say like if you want to flip like a, a burger in a pan or something. Yeah. Or like even vegetables, like, you know, this is also the same, uh, same purpose to drain out as you're picking up. Um, yeah. I was going to use this last night to make uh, waffles. And then what I happened? forgot. And okay. then I got the little one that I always use. I got you. But uh, I definitely like, I like these all very much. And uh, egg picker up. Spatula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are posters on the wall that are behind me. They're all different you know, uh, concerts and events that I've been to. To scoop out. And then you're, you know, when you're mixing something like, I think it looks this, a little bit like an icing. Spatula. Yeah, like, uh, you know, if you want to scrape or like, you know, you're smooth, it, smooth out. it out. Yeah, this is like smooth out the top of yeah. mashed potatoes on a shepherd's. I pie. just put them back in the box because I really have nowhere to put them. So That's true. That's I true. I have no, and we I have to like, space. yeah, and I definitely have my old stuff that I want to replace. So. I'm just kind of using out of the box as I go along when I need spoons, spatulas, yeah. whisks, slotted spoons, spaghetti Great boys, every everything kind that you need. of cooking method. If you need, you know, it's pretty nice. Today, the Hot Target 13 piece kitchen utensil set is available for $16.99. It has four and a half stars, and no, that's uh, good. yeah, it's got a four and a half star review with almost five hundred reviews, and it's forty eight percent off. So it's almost half off. It's that's good. Seventeen dollars today. Seventeen dollars for that whole box actually is a really, really good yeah. deal, isn't it? And you get everything that you would need. You know, certain uh, like kitchen tool, utensil. You know. Everything you need. Yeah, actually, I used the biggest one here. No, nope, not this one. That's not the biggest one. The biggest one was the one with the holes. And turn her sorry her this way. Yeah, turn your whole body. Just um, just because I was gonna go put it back, but I'll um, that's it. okay. Now uh, I used it for flipping the pancake. Mm -hmm. Did it work well? The problem was the pancake was too big, but it did help it pick it up nice. So yeah, it was okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The next, the next one, one is the, the UP Cam 3. Yeah. The UP Security S330 S3, Cam 3. I, I was the S looked like a 5 for a second there. Boom. Okay. This is the UP uh Cam 3 kit. Okay, it goes by a different name in the carousel, but it is affectionately referred to as the Cam 3 kit. What you get in this box is going to be the Home Base 3, as well as two 4K solar-powered webcams. These webcams connect wirelessly to the Home Base 3 and have a 30... 13,000 milliamp hour. 13,000, right? I always... 13,000. Yes, I got it right. Okay. The 4K cameras have a 13,000 milliamp hour battery built inside. And with just two hours of direct sunlight a day on the solar panel, you can charge these and have them powered indefinitely. With that 13,000 milliamp hour battery, even in the cloudiest conditions, these 4K cameras will provide up to one year of service without needing to be recharged. Uh, these are great cameras and the home base three is also a wonderful product. It's just a central station that's, for all of your youth. That's true. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Somebody in the chat said that, uh, charge it up before electricity is gone. Then we have all the stuff that well, we, need. we got our, no, I'm joking. we got our, uh, we got our eco flow oh, yes. river to that portable battery. To um, it's charged. It's at hundred yeah, percent right now. Okay, the Home Base 3, though, is a really, really great product that adds um, the ability to uh, – it does so much that I just kind of had a little kind of like a brain stop there because I wanted to say everything at once. This features onboard memory that is 16 gigabytes but has the ability to be expanded up to 16 terabytes 
uh, with the included hard drive bay. We just pull the top off and remove the security screw and put in a hard drive up to 16 terabytes. That's really great. This has AI facial recognition that you can refine with the Eufy app. So like with the cameras and stuff, you can have them recognize cars and people's faces and pets and different things. And, 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 you can refine that and hone the AI in the home base three to be super smart about it has connections on the back. I haven't talked about the home base in a while, but it does have connections on the back USB to pair some cameras. I'm sure also ethernet to keep it connected to everything as well. Uh, these are really great little security camera kits that start for uh, $550. But today this is on deal for $467. 49 okay so 470 dollars for these today for the two 4k cameras as well as the home base three um, I, I think i when i sneezed uh -huh. something flew over on the screen <laughs> okay i'm sorry okay it just needs to be wiped right here okay it's all good we'll do it after the okay, show okay i just i just um forever it. power Oh, these are IP67 weather resistant. That's also important. They do have a spotlight built into them to help you see color at night. Sorry. It's okay. And uh, yeah, I was talking about the Bionic Mind AI learning. That is where you can really uh, hone different feet. Oh, man, I, it's difficult for me to speak about the AI because I haven't spoken about it in a long time. So I don't want to be misinformed with what I'm saying to you, but it's really cool because like you can, you can train the AI in the home base three to do different things based on the data that you're feeding it. Okay. Uh, these are really cool. They're available today for $467 and 49 cents. This comes with everything that you need. Uh, it's the home base, two cameras, all the networking cables, all the power cables, uh, the mounts for the cameras, literally everything that you need to get it going. Um, okay. Somebody's saying that you need to update the carousel. They're looking oh, at the uh, cooking utensils. Thank you very, very much for telling me to update my carousel. I usually don't forget. Okay, so this is the Eufy Cam Kit 3. Like I said, it has those two 4K cameras uh, that have the 13,000 milliamp hour batteries uh, that only require two hours a day of solar charging to run indefinitely. And even on cloudy conditions, the battery the batteries will last for up to a year. You get the latest Home Base 3, uh, which is the latest technology put out by Eufy in regard to mm -hmm. home security. They have Home Base 2, they have Home Base 1, no. Home base three. It's the new one. Okay. Okay. And the next next is the Amazon Fire HD 10 inch. This is mine. <laughs> um I like because it's big and it's like uh very handy when i'm you want to I pop it up yeah, on the table here? i usually uh i usually sit on the couch with it and play my game check my social media um mainly to play games and that's pretty much it like i don't do too much typing on it um i like it because i can do this or you know i can do it i guess it the wrong way it's this way i can have it standing up almost like a computer kind of looks a little it's i don't know it does that it just kind of goes on a angle um yeah uh, it's very uh useful it has three gigabytes of ram and a plastic back and those are pretty much the only things that are different between the hd10 and the hd10 pro so with the pro you get the metal backing you get the extra gigabyte of ram but mimo she's not really doing a lot of labor intensive things that require that extra gig or the metal yeah. back and we got the amazon fire hd10 on an incredible deal during prime access early prime access days uh deals in october we scooped it up for 50 percent off today it's 33 percent off it's a hundred dollars Regularly, they're uh, selling for one fifty today. One hundred. Oh, wow, bucks. one fifty, eh? Uh, regularly, they're one hundred and fifty dollars. Today, they're a hundred dollars. I've okay. seen them go on sale as low as seventy five dollars. I've never seen it more than a fifty percent. Right. 
well, we got a good deal. But yeah, fifty percent is a really yeah, great deal. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna get another great deal on another one of these soon. It's definitely worth uh, getting another one. Yes, yes. And I picked pink because we're gonna talk about oh, the. Oh, we can talk okay. about the case here. I gotta highlight okay. this in the carousel. Okay. Kind of losing my mind here. I'm I'm kind of slacking on the show. Uh, yeah, please continue. Uh, uh, I got the cover like this stand. Because for the reason where I don't always have to hold it if I don't feel like it, but uh, I picked pink because it's, I guess, more girly. <laughs> the other and colors that they offer were it was an, I don't the know, other yeah. colors they offer. I think are olive, navy, yeah, and gray. Like, and even this is referred to as lavender, and it's pretty pink. Yeah, it's like yeah, of course, it's it's kind of lavender color, but uh, yeah, I like the pink. Lavender. The Fire HD10 tablet cover is available today for $32. That's also on a great deal. It's 20% off and uh, has a four and a half star review with over 17,000 reviews. So that's pretty, pretty straight. And I like it because it's like a book, you know, like open yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah. The Amazon HD10 inch tablet has a camera on the front and on the rear. It features in here. I'm sorry. The uh, the HD10 tablet has camera on the front. It also has a camera on the rear. It also has inputs that are basically USB-C for charging, as well as a audio jack for uh, audio out. That's where Mima plugs in her uh, Riff headphones by Skull Candy. These also have volume controls and power buttons. And uh, I'm certain there's got to be a lock button on here somewhere, right? Uh, it's software enabled. It's right here it's where it like to like lock it so you can't open it so you don't press buttons oh i don't know i never really yeah i don't it might not have one i'm not sure whatever these icons right here that's the camera oh right right, right. so maybe this is what you're talking about the no, lock no? no oh i don't know i've never really looked at that so three gigs of RAM, 10.1 inch screen, two cameras, input mic, uh, input USB-C, output a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. It has volume controls and power buttons. It's got a great, great cover that is also available yeah. for it that comes in a few different colors. And uh, yeah, the HD Fire, the H, the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet is available today. Like I said, for 33 percent off, making it a hundred dollars. And the inside of this is soft, and I think for the reason to protect the screen compared to out here, where it's like a little not rough, but it's definitely softer inside. So I think that that is to... Yeah, and it has like magnets or whatever built yeah. into it. So if you have the screen on the tablet and you close the cover on it, then the cover like puts the tablet to sleep. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's cool as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I'll do the next okay. one. Uh, it's going to be the Gobi lights. Do you want to put that over? Oh, you just on the couch or whatever. Okay, um, not the bet I can stand about here. Okay, so these are the Govi Outdoor String Lights. This is two 48-foot lengths of string lights, okay? So what you get is 15 RGBIC LEDs. You get 15 per each 48-foot length. The 96-foot length comes with 30 bulbs all together. Once again, that's two lengths of 48 feet with 15 bulbs each. The bulbs are IP65 weather resistant. They're made out of plastic. Okay. They're shatter proof, but they're not crush proof. You step on this, it's going to break. You know what I'm saying? But they don't, they don't like break. Right now, you're just, <clears throat> yeah, it's not going to do that. Yeah, today we have them on in a solid green color, but they fluctuate between all different colors. Each individual bulb is addressable through the Govi app that you can download for free. Uh, there's a lot of different themes and scenes that you can get with the Govi lights. You can create your own themes and scenes, and you can join the Govi community and get even more user-created themes and scenes that just aren't uh, packaged with the app when you download it. These Govi lights are really great. I only always hear great things about Govi lights. Uh, I got these in October, again, during early access Prime deals. So I really haven't taken the opportunity to put them outside and install them yet, but I'm really stoked too when the time is right. Probably still not for several weeks as we are in the middle of winter right now. Um, the Govi Outdoor String Lights, 
in that app also feature the ability to change colors and intensities with the microphone that's built into your device. So that's cool to uh, kind of keep the lights flashing in a rhythmic way. And they do white and yellow. So it's not just colors. So you can have ambient light and you can have like great party light. I can't wait light. to put them outside. Yeah. I'm looking forward to being able to have them outside. Yes. You know. It also has a little power button that you can press to turn the lights on and off that plug into the cord. Okay. The Govi Outdoor String Lights are IP65 weather resistant. The control box is IP x5 weather uh, x5 weather resistant and the adapter that plugs into the wall has no ip weather uh technology protection okay pretty cool yeah super oh you cool. dropped the let me go float yeah. cable okay what's next oh wait hold on the uh, Gobi outdoor string lights it's are available bucks. today for a hundred bucks and have a four and a half star rating with just over two thousand reviews I mean, that's really good still. Yeah. So we already we talked did about that. that. Okay, so it's my turn again. Yes. It's the SD <clears throat> card reader. I got you. Okay, for iPhone. iPhone and Android. Check this thing out. I didn't see the. This is the Suntruzy SD card reader for iPhones and Androids. Uh, I kind of have my plastic sheath off here. I hope I didn't misplace it, but. It's over there. Okay. Like I saw so it. this is cool. This is a little yeah. Y shaped SD card reading device. I'm actually holding the SD card that is plugged into the device currently so you can see it, it. in a more, I don't need it, in a more unobstructed way. Uh, but what you get here, let me get really close. What you get here is a USB. Uh, adapter that flips up to show a, a micro USB adapter, micro uh, mini. So you can flip, you can go from USB and flip it up to mini USB. That's really cool. And then what's great about this is it's all solid piece. There's no cords that dangle off it. And the two connections that the two adapters that come out the other side, one is lightning adapter for iPhone. And then the other one is USB-C for Android, which is really, really cool. So what you can do with this <clears throat> is you can plug it into your iPhone or your Android device and then access the SD card that you've plugged into it as a directory on your phone, right? Um, it does SD cards, as I keep repeating. Also, on the other side, it has a micro SD card port as well as a lightning charging port. So you can put your iPhone on it and charge it, but you cannot charge the USB side with the lightning cable. I tried that. It doesn't work. This is really cool. If you're out somewhere with like your homies and, and maybe like I do stuff with cameras that aren't connected to the internet. You know what I mean? Um, and sometimes we're in places where internet just isn't really good. So if I need to grab like data off a phone or transfer something really, really quickly, this makes it super, super easy to grab data off an Android device, grab data off an iPhone, or uh, and then and then once I get that data copied to my card, whether it's the SD or micro SD card, I can then plug it into my PC to transfer the data. Uh, I really, really, really love this thing. This is great because can you shift over yeah. just a bit, please. This is great because I have like a couple point and shoot cameras, like like handheld camcorders, and uh, they only run like on SD. You know what I'm saying? They only run SD, and so. Uh, so being able to pull this out and and uh, and and grab data like this SD card I'm using for all my video editing. The majority of my video editing goes through this very card. So like if we're out and about and I'm with you and I don't like I don't want to wait for you to give me your data when you get home and have internet, I can grab that data right now and put it on this card. It's so easy. There's no drivers. There's no app to download. It just plugs in and functions as it should. I love my Centruzy SD card reader. This thing is really, really great. Oh, not bad price for it either. <clears throat> it's so small you can lose it. Well, you know what? Maybe, but if you keep it in your camera bag and you're responsible with it, I think that uh, I love this over other SD card readers um, because – there's no cables on this. I don't have to plug a USB yeah. with a cable that goes to a box. This is ultra, ultra portable. Even with the SD card removed from it, it's even smaller. And like I said, it does come with the uh, with the ends that go on it to protect your 
your leads so you never have to worry about it getting scratched or bent or damaged okay yeah. the excuse me the suntruzy s sd card reader for iphone and android excuse me it's 15 dollars today it's 15 dollars today and uh that's 21 percent off this is normally 19 dollars today it's available for 15 save four bucks click through the carousel add this suntruzy sd card reader for iphone and android to your cart today okay this is i've had this one for a couple years it's it's solid it just it works oh, that's good it has four and a half stars with almost five thousand reviews so it is really yeah. good yeah. okay that's it we did all our physical products so now we're going to sit here and talk a little bit about these product pages yeah. that we were that we were looking at uh sure. earlier so let me get all that set up real quick here okay. now okay Thanks. Uh, we want to look at this and then we're going to take a look at this table so let's go like this uh yeah that's it this is what we're doing so this is the huanuo folding tv table now we're just like I'm not anti kitchen table. It's just every time in my yeah, life, right every time in my life that I, I, as an adult, every time that I've lived on my own, uh, I can admit that I can be extremely unorganized. And I just find that the dining table always ends up serving a purpose to hold a bunch of stuff that I don't even care about. And then I pile like papers on it and everything. And then it becomes like not the option. We haven't so, had that issue because we have no table. <laughs> right. That's right. And so now we like kind of sit, we used to sit at the computer desk, but now that we have the new rad love adjustable desk, it's easy to sit in front of the desk on the couch in the living room, which is awesome. So we don't sit at the main desk. PC desk anymore, which also doubled as our dining room table. Cause we would just sit at the, at, at, at the dang desk. And, and eat food there and do everything there. This is the main table. Our, our plan is to make the top of that desk table into a table. Yeah, I'd like to get some table legs for Just it like and make it something. like a two-seater, you know. Something. Yeah. Sure, I could probably right, do four kinda, people with the right legs yeah, on it. Yeah, I mean, you could, but like, uh, yeah. So we started looking at these Huanuo folding TV traits tables and uh today they're $42.99 a piece they're 14 percent off uh it's one you get one you get one for 43 dollars but they're adjustable and they're foldable and the reason that we went with this uh, the reason that we chose that these were the ones that interested us are because they don't have legs that slide under your furniture right. like looking at this Looking at the this older couple enjoy their Huanuo TV tray, we can see that under their couch, uh, they have they have room for little legs to slide under there. But I got like a lazy boy couch, right? And the lazy boy couch has like a long metal bar that sits across the entire floor. So it's impossible from any angle to slide legs under the couch to take advantage of that space. I just don't have that. And I think that these are a little bit better too because they're easy to fold and put away. And also, like, look at, like, they're good for all purposes, you know? Like, like perfect. Store it away against the wall in the kitchen or in the living room where you think you might need that, you know, little table. We like to sit a lot at the TV and eat. So I'm always saying to Blake, we need to get a, 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 a like a folding TV tray table for us because we don't have a table to sit at or we choose not to have it for reasons of not having it as a storage place to put stuff on the table. This is not going to be for that. This is going to be straight up for like eating you know, and then we don't have to have a table. And I really want, I really want to get tray tables for us. Um, yeah. That's our plan to get some. And this is kind of what we're taking a look at right now. Yeah. Subject to change, but yeah. this is kind of like something that we've been eyeing up. And it's simple looking. It's, you know. It, yeah. You just you need, need a hard a, surface to yeah, put a plate on. That's it. it doesn't have to be elegant. That's you're, right. If you're eating in front of a TV, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I don't mind that. Right. Like, uh, they're they're not too bad 
Look at for every look at this look, look at, at this guy guy's popcorn. Having a good old time, eh? Yeah, on uh, look at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Before I can't see the bottom. Uh, before he was spilling his beer and oh, spilling his yeah, popcorn yeah, all over yeah. the carpet. Well, he didn't look happy there. Now with the Huanuo <laughs> folding TV tray, look how happy he is. Yeah. Look see. how miserable he is. He can't even reach the remote. Yeah. <laughs> he's so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's real happy. <laughs> Okay, so let's take another little bit longer look at this here and see. Here, we'll move this over here. Now, these are Amazon's choice for TV trays, which is really awesome because mm -hmm. I got the Huanuo triple monitor stand for the desk. And uh, Huanuo's making stuff. They don't just make monitor yeah. stands. I learned that by learning about this table. Yeah, so maybe, maybe when they go down further and, and, and when there's more of a deal, like I – better deal than what the deal is right now i mean it's okay hey, what's but, up sea bass uh i definitely like to you know have these in our home great for eating in front of the tv chips easily well you just got to be careful with your things well you know yeah like uh it depends too on where you arrived you're... broken this one says now yeah. i'd be pretty frustrated if i got yeah, it and i would it was be like too that. absolutely you know I guess it's Came just like damaged. everything else. You just kind of have to. Some people are not happy, but a lot of right. people are. They have right. more five star reviews than anything else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and how often? And they do have they come uh, what I say. They have almost two thousand reviews. They have four and a half stars with almost two thousand. Probably reviews. very easy to wipe, you know, just <coughs> a little soap them, and water. Yeah. Oh, here's Seabass's dad joke. I'm giving away racing geese for free. You can come over if you want to have a gander. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that's he's, constantly, yeah. he's constantly he's <laughs> constantly like that. Does. Okay, let's move on from the TV tray. Okay. It's a folding plastic with yeah. metal legs. It's forty three dollars and fourteen percent off. Regularly, this is fifty bucks. Today, you can get them for forty three dollars. And like I said, they have a four and a half star review with almost two thousand reviews. All right, we're gonna talk about the Vipic now. Yeah. Okay, you go ahead. Ooh. I definitely want this. <laughs> um, we are looking into getting this Vipic. This garment, model is V22S. Like, um, closet for our bedroom. Yeah, they refer to it as a garment rack yeah, because it's like is a closet that. keeping it in a thing. I yeah, I, I'm. I because of our home, we don't have any closets. Like a normal, like normal, typical home has closets. We don't have any. Um, I did have a closet in the back room, but when we converted yeah. it for other things, I ended up just tearing well, those two little walls down. And now, yeah, there's there's two closets there's in only this two house. Closets in one's the house. in the hallway, right. and the other one's in the, in laundry, the laundry area. Room. And it's not a lot of closets. No. Space. So, like, I think that uh, we are definitely planning to get something like this um this particular this exactly right um i think it would work well in our room because uh it's open and it's easy access yes and uh, i like all the hooks on it for yeah, the shirts and we can like change the shelving if we need it higher or lower depending on we have lots of lake has lots of t-shirts and shorts I have a lot of like sweater blouses, you know, pants. We have Blake has also some pants too. Um this so thing is I think long. I think that it, it's really ideal for us to have and have our clothes nicely, you know, hung up. T-shirt should be hung up. Um I, I'm looking forward to making more space. Yeah, I know. And yeah. utilizing and having this um I'm just because I didn't want to uh I'll just turn your body and you don't have yeah, to move the okay. chair. It's just when I get out, I have to do that. It's fine. We're not getting out again yeah. until the end of the show. Yeah, I know. Well, There's no more products. I, to I, get. I know that. Yeah, the Vipic V22S seems pretty freaking dope. It's super long. It's uh it's 104 inches in length and is available today for 230 $240 as a four and a half star rating with 16 reviews. It comes in several colors, black, white, bronze. I don't know if the colors change the price or not, but we're going to get probably the black one. 
we were, we decided on the black or I thought it was going to be the silver one. I thought, well, oh, we haven't maybe. got it yet. We know. haven't finalized okay. our decision, yeah, but we're going right. to get one of them eventually. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, this is the closet that I will get, but here's the thing. I live in Canada and I wanted to order this on the dot com website for the two hundred and forty dollars, and I was told that they don't ship this to Canada. So I went on the dot ca website where they sell this exact same product, same brand name, different model number, but exact same product for more than twice the cost. Oh, which is ridiculous. Yeah. That's so crazy. I hit up Vipic and I'm like, hey, is there something that we can do about this? And they're like, yeah maybe we'll hit you up and then that was earlier last week and they haven't hit me up so uh i'm gonna not call them on monday but i am gonna call them on tuesday and see what we can do about this because this thing just seems like a total game changer like yeah. if you take a look behind us here uh in our humble home okay like it's wall to wall it's wall to wall yeah. right the uh the uh the 104 inch the 104 and a half inch thing is almost the entire wall. Yeah. You'd be lucky to have six inches on each side, I think, basically. Basically, this whole closet is going to take up one side of the wall. That's right. An entire wall. From the speaker yeah. here all the way to the green light. Pretty much the entire wall. With just a little bit of space is, on each side. It's going to be awesome. And it's okay because... It's going to be still use fantastic. The, yeah, you can still use the little space on each side for uh, storage. Something else. Like something else. You know, like a, it's just that whole wall will be open and it'll look like this and much more convenient to grab shirts and, you know, like have your clothes laid out like in a store. It's easy to... Yeah, a garment you know, rack. Yeah, I like that. You got yeah, it. the garment rack. You got it. <laughs> okay. The Vipic V22S is available today for $240. I haven't seen it go on sale. And like, I don't know how I'm going to end up buying it and all that. But I'm going to buy it for full price. I'm not going to wait for uh, a sale. If I can get it, I'm going to get it. And I would have already got it. But like I said, I'm kind of having a conundrum being, uh, being a dot .ca uh and ordering it from a dot com it's kind mm -hmm. of giving me an issue so hopefully i'll have some remedy that is consensual between me and vipix soon enough yeah and hopefully that remedy will involve having the closet yeah. sent here uh, okay. okay once again that v22s garment rack is available for 240 dollars all right this one's you booty booty <laughs> Oh, I'm always, always telling Blake, I need um, a, the, a utensil organizer. And uh, this, we were looking through and I saw this and I was like, oh, this is, this is cute. I think this is nice. Not because I'm using mason jars. So I'm putting all my wood utensils and all my other plastic it looks really too much and we don't have a lot of kitchen space so this is definitely something that will be able to put all my stuff in one and maybe another one you know but in like you know this kind of compartment it's more uh utilizing the space better and having more counter space yeah uh i really like this i like the i like how you can um pull it out so when you pull it out it's to clean the bottom yeah the That's bottom slides the, out so that you can clean it i see because over time when you put it like i always make sure my kitchen utensils are dry but you know with dust and accumulation like stuff like that does happen so um these are something that i'm looking into getting for the house and uh, for my kitchen as well and I really like them because I can fit more than, you know, I can actually fit all of my kitchen utensils, my spatulas, my ladles, my scoopers, my tongs, you know, all in one and have them available ready for me to use and Absolutely. not have to search through a, a drawer for. Absolutely. Know, yeah. 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 Uh, we selected the black one to share with y'all today, but there's no price for it, so it must be sold out for the time being. But the exact same thing, just mm -hmm. in a light brown colorway, is available for $29.95. Yeah. It's got four and a half That's star nice. ratings with 730 ratings, so not too bad. Yeah. Simple box. I like that the bottom 
it pulls out yeah. so that you can keep it cleaner than not. Right. Because right? it, it's actually easier to clean than you have to take everything out and, you know, wipe it. Of... And then it all gets caught in the corner yeah. and whatnot. This yeah. prevents right. that. Yeah. Yeah. The Kariski, the, the Kariski kitchen utensil holder Kariski. for your countertop. Kariski. Kariski. What do you say? Kariski. 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 Okay. The Kariski kitchen. The Kariski kitchen utensil holder for your countertop <laughs> is available today for twenty nine ninety five. A wood utensil caddy with removable bottom. That's that's pretty interesting. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we'll we'll get something like yeah. this. Maybe this exact one. But yeah. You wanted the black one right I now. Mean, I don't solar. really care. Like I shouldn't care what well, the, the care. purpose of care. it. I mean, the this color would go fine as well here too. You know, yeah. Okay, let's keep it moving now. We just got a couple products left to talk about here. And this is now going to be my pick of the day. I, I'm look, <laughs> taking a look at this Viotech 32 inch 75 hertz 4K monitor. Okay. Uh, now, sure, it's a 4K monitor. Hey, what's up, Hefe? How you doing? Thanks for coming out and joining us on this pop up Sunday show. We got Mima in the mix today. Hello. You want to see her? You want to see Mima, Hefe? You look at my wife. Hold on. Maybe I turn my Blake. thing off. <laughs> <laughs> you look at her. <laughs> There's Mima, Hefe. We got her here on Shopping Dragons today. She's been doing a great job. She's been talking about all these awesome products that we've received uh, for the show. And, and she talks about the ones she likes to do. Great job today. Thank great you. job today. Uh, Not as good as Blake, but, you nah, know. It's just talking. Anybody can do it. Anybody can talk. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so here's my wife. Thanks for looking at her. Okay, let's go back into our <laughs> let's go back into our product pages here. And yeah, you know, I, I'm looking at these 75 hertz 4K monitors, and they're like 200 bucks today. These are regular 250 dollars. They're 28 percent off today, making them uh, 180 dollars. Okay, and I was looking at like 1080p monitors. Because again, as some of you must be tired of Is listening same, to me say. Same as this monitor right here, 32 inch, or this little bit. No, it's a little bit bigger than this one. Uh, this monitor here, I believe, is a 24 inch. Okay, so it's the 32 inch, like 32 inches is about yeah, as yeah, big as the one, big boy right. over there. My, my old TV was a 32 inch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you want? Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to do three yeah. TVs here. <laughs> okay. You get the size <laughs> aspect <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, but these Viotech 4K monitors at 75 hertz seem pretty cool because here's the thing, I. I've never had a 4K monitor. I got my TV as a 4K monitor, but I don't use it with the computer very often. And so to build a battle station and to think about get go get um excuse me, to think about having uh uh monitors that are gonna like grow old with me for a little bit of time, I thought, oh well, maybe I should get some 4K monitors now that I see these 4K monitors on sale for $180. Should I just get three 4K monitors that refresh at 75 hertz? Or should I get three 1080p monitors and then just do that? Because I'm not even used to 4K. And like, and then like, I know that I could have any array of monitors that I prefer, but I really think there's something to be said about having three of the exact same monitor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm really interested in. Three of the same monitors. So I don't know if I should get like, <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if I should get three 1080p monitors that refresh at what, like 144 hertz, or do I get three 4K monitors that refresh at half the speed? I'm not. I'm not a big gamer. The only game I really play on my PC is Minecraft, and literally, I've had the laptop since December. I've played Minecraft twice. So, so I just like to be honest, you're not really. You like to play, but you just don't do them. You don't play the games. That's right, because when I play the games, I get too involved in them, yeah. and then I just want to play forever, and I never want to stop. So uh, if I start playing, I never want to quit. Mm -hmm. I love Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft's fun. But yeah, so I was taking a look at monitors anyway, and this is what I seen, and I seen this Viotech 32-inch, 75 hertz monitor, uh, four and a half stars, 640 ratings. I'll take a look at a couple pictures here. And then after this, we just got to talk about those blankets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I want. 
I don't know exactly what I want. I don't know exactly what I want. I think I want triple 4K monitors now that I know that I can get some for sub $200 a piece because all the 4K monitors that I was looking at are just like $250, 300 dollars $500 monitors. And it's like, I'm just looking at Amazon pages and watching YouTube videos and, and looking at like spreadsheets and and, you know, watching multiple videos at one time, you know, that are not generally in 4K. I watch multiple Amazon streams, for example. And, uh, you know, Amazon only maxes out at, at at 720p, you know. So I can put several 720p streams on a, on a single monitor. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the option is. I think it's go with 4K and less refresh rate as opposed to lower resolution and higher refresh rate. Only because I'm not a gamer and because I'm not extremely educated in the types of like knowledge that are required to have a good monitor. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with that. And these monitors are like less than 15 pounds, which is great because the Huanuo monitor stand that I have is good for monitors up to 32 inches, but not exceeding 17 and a half pounds. So these are 12 pounds. It's easy. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Great colors, QHD. This is it. This is where I'm at with it. It's got the 100 millimeter VESA, obviously. And, it, and, and the monitors have several HDMI inputs. They're really thin, eh? That's right. Uh, the monitors have several HDMI inputs on them, it looks like here. So it's like you can probably have more than one source plugged into yeah. the monitor. Right. So imagine to have one monitor showing the computer and then I can press a button and switch it to the PlayStation or yeah. something, right? So that's really cool. That's really cool. Stuff that I'm really looking a lot at. And uh, yeah, it has a three and a half millimeter audio jack. It must have speakers built into it. So I'm not a big fan of. I could literally just do with the display and no frills, and I feel like I'd be satisfied. I don't need speakers in my thing. And it's got a rocker button, which I'm telling you I'm not necessarily a fan of rocker buttons when it comes to monitors and stuff. Sometimes they, like, you're trying to power off, but it's not. Because it's, I just find the rocker switch is kind of like uh gimmicky. Just yeah. give me some hard buttons to press yeah. the button. You press the button, not press the button, navigate to off yeah, and yeah, press the yeah. button again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at with the monitors. I really, really want to get some new monitors for this for this uh for the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop that I have. And I know that the 3050 in there will support up to at least three external monitors. So I don't know if the laptop is a limitation. I got to look a little bit deeper into it. But I obviously I want like the – I would rather have, I guess, more – the higher the resolution, yeah. the denser the pixels on the screen, right? And then the hertz is how fast it refreshes. Mm -hmm. So like this monitor, this monitor refreshes at 144 hertz. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what this one is or right. what this one right. is either. But I'm perfectly content with this really old monitor. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely content with this KYY portable monitor that we mm -hmm. have. And uh, like as far as the way that they look and everything, and this is a 1080p screen. Yeah. So I don't know. And all the 1080p monitors that I've seen are basically 200 bucks. So I think, I think like I'm saying, holding out for the uh, – holding out for like maybe some 4K monitors that are around – the $200 price point might be the right move. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I still have a lot to think about. But I was looking at these VOTech monitors, and they were on a great deal. So I, I wanted to share that with you all today. All right. Uh, the VOTech monitor is available, again, for $180. They're regular $250, and they're on sale today for 28% off. So if you're looking for a new monitor, I think VOTech could be an option worth considering. All right, let's move to our last product now. It's 7 o'clock, so we just got to talk about this. Oh, we didn't even have to talk about it. We just played the, the video. Yeah. Now, before we play this video, before we play this video, it's been really, really quiet in the chat today, uh, extremely quiet in the chat. Let me, though, nonetheless, post this link. And if you all are watching and can hear the sound of my voice, it would be so appreciated if you could head over to the link, 
like the video. It certainly helps us here on Shopping Dragons and Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Mima wanted to get some new hypoallergenic blankets. We took a look at what BedSure was have to offering, and uh, we took a look at what BedSure had to offer. And uh, James made a video about some bamboo sheets. So let's take a look at this video together right uh, in just a quick sec. Just a quick sec. Okay, let's look at this video together now. James here, and today we're taking another quick look at the new product, guys. This is from BedSure. This is their actually four-piece bamboo sheet set. Now, this does come in six sizes, uh, 10 or 11 different colors, but we have a lavender purple here, guys, which is actually a nice little color. Now, the good thing about bamboo is, is it is actually cool to the touch. It will actually wick moisture, which is really get, great for people that sweat at night. It will actually keep that off you. Now, these are a 16-inch deep fitted pocket, so the main fitted sheet is 16 inches deep, so we're going to hope it will fit on this. This uh, mattress with mattress topper actually comes in at a little about 16, 16 and a half inches, so we're going to actually see if it actually fits. Since it's memory foam, we can actually squeeze it down and hope it stays in place. Now, the cool thing is it comes with two queen-size pillowcases, one top-fitted sheet, and one bottom-fitted uh, sheet that actually fits over this, guys. And actually, I pronounced that wrong. You have one flat sheet and one fitted sheet. But, you know, hey, everybody makes mistakes once in a while, right? So let's pop this open and give you guys the first look at this plastic bag. We're going to chuck that aside, right? Now I'm going to bring the color to you a little closer. Hopefully you guys can see this. Now, if the coloration looks a little off, we'll move around just like this. Now, they do have the little piece of paper that comes with it and all of the pieces. Now, we're going to unfold this. As you guys see, stuff starts falling apart, of course, already. Okay, let's jump and to the spot where the cases. blankets are on the bed. And actually, do that right now. I'm going to throw one of these off camera on this bed. We're going to show you guys what it looks like on the bed, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I now have my bed shirt pillow here, queen size, of course. I have one of the pillowcases. Just, guys, just simple and easy. Just literally slide it on, right? You know, if you could do this on camera, it'd be even better, guys. Who wants to help me out? Anybody? Yeah, guys just put it in right once you're in the pillowcase you have this little flap here that goes over the end of the pillow and then it folds well if you guys can see this it actually goes over the end and then folds in and out now since this is a feather pillow it's a little uh lopsided but easy simple guys it's good Put it up on your bed, you're good to go. Now, cool thing is, I'm gonna take you guys down, little boys. It actually fit my big memory foam bed and the memory foam topper. So, no problem there, guys. The sheets fit, don't worry about it. You'll actually get it on there. Again, guys, that's the Bedshire four piece set, bamboo set. Thanks for checking this out and have a great one. Thank you so much, Dragon Blogger James, for talking to us about the Bedshirt Bamboo four-piece blanket set. Comes with two pillowcases, a mattress sheet, and the flat blanket. What's that? The one that like is a spring blanket? Yeah, like it just like goes uh, like over this sheeted fitted. Uh, what were you saying about blankets while the video was playing? Um, I was saying that, but we should get a topper too. A thick mattress topper. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you find our bed uncomfortable? No, not at all. I don't think so either. Uh, the Betcher bamboo sheets, the four the four piece, which again is the two pillowcases and the and the top the the mattress top and the sp and the spring blanket. I call it. We're calling it a flat blanket. This is available for sixty two dollars sixty three dollars. This four piece kit is available for sixty three dollars and has a four and a half star rating with over forty five thousand reviews. Okay, so this is getting sold. This is getting sold. Yeah. People are making reviews about this, and they like it. Yeah. For $63, you can get it yourself. Let's see if there's any color. Um, let's see what other colors. Let's see what happens when we click through our carousel here, and then we're going to end this show. Oh, lots of different colors. Oh, yeah. Lots of different colors. Uh, and they come, different colors come in different prices. Different colors come in different prices. We were looking at lilac, I, I believe. It's the same price. Uh, it's a dollar more. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I think I think that might be it. 
Is there anything else that you'd like to say about the, excuse me, about the bed shirt blankets? Uh, I, I, the only thing I want to get it is because we, uh, like I have allergies and I believe Blake has them too. And we gotta get some air purifiers in here and suck know, some of the dust out of the room. Um, right? I just think from my doctor's advice is to get some aller allergy bed covers. <laughs> Yeah, you we know. can do that. Venture and, uh, offers them. I was yeah. like, is it is is it bamboo exclusively hyperallergenic? And they said yes. Yeah. If you have bamboo sheets, they're hypoallergenic yeah. sheets. I think that they would help a lot with the health and uh and for allergies. And also it's nice to have more than one, you know, to change your sheets once a week. Where do we have here? One of these. Yeah. Yeah, I really I, I'm interested in wanting one, so. Hopefully. Yeah, me too. Uh, I mean, like, I'm interested in what you're interested in. I don't have an active pursuit for sheets, but the ones that you're interested in, I'm like, oh, these are cool. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? Yeah. They're not just regular bed sheets. They're to help with your health. For your health? Yeah, for your health. I think that's it, Baluti. I think we're done the show. We did it all. We talked about a bunch of products. You mm -hmm. did a great job talking about products today Thank with you. me. Thank you for joining me on yeah. today's show. We got to sit for the whole time and relax. A yeah. totally, completely different show than what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. I think it went pretty well. Yeah. yeah. yeah maybe uh, maybe we'll do another one together sometime. Yeah. Maybe not next weekend. Maybe another weekend. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say before we go? Uh, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm just a little hungry maybe right now. Yeah, we're going to go eat some dinner right now. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's time to eat food. I am uh, i don't know if you can tell, but I'm wasting away to nothing <laughs> over here, okay? So uh, before we go, let's address Seabass. He says, my coworkers laugh at my jokes in in-person meetings, but never in online meetings. <laughs> when I asked them why, they said that my jokes weren't remotely funny. <laughs> I think it was funny. <laughs> Seabass, thank you for helping us end on a fun smile here at the end of Clown Live on this pop-up show on a Sunday night. I'm going to be back tomorrow uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every weekday, we're doing shows here on Shopping Dragons at, well, like I just said, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's me. It's Clown Live, baby. And we're doing it. Uh, Mila. Yeah. Thank you for joining me on Clown oh, Live God. today. <laughs> Everybody that had the ability to participate in the chat today and those who lurked and didn't say anything, thank you very much yeah. as well. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah, th thanks for coming out, bud. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do, like I said, I'm going to do another show tomorrow at 5 and every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern as we do. So with that, I think we're done here. Have a good Sunday night, everybody. Yeah, have a good Sunday night. Maybe I'll catch some of y'all in some Amazon chats, and that's all I got to say. Where's my phone? So we're going to end the stream here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.